what I'm doing? I'm writing a letter, putting it in an envelope, and I'm going to send this to my friend who lives far off in another place. Now, why would I do this? Why can't I just send her a message? You just call her. Well, imagine, think about the time when there was no phone, just a landline, no way to send messages, no way to send voicemails. And this is what people used to do. They used to write letters. They used to go to the post office, buy the paper, buy the envelope, buy something called the inland letter and post it. And then they used to just wait and wait and wait to hear from the other person. And that's when they knew that, yeah, my letter has reached them. They've read and they're responding. Now imagine you visited your grandparents' house. Your parents have just dropped you there. Now you have to contact them and tell them what a lovely time you're having. What will you do? Borrow grandma's phone, call your mom. Borrow grandma's phone, text her. Or borrow grandma's phone and leave her an audio message. Or all of the above. I mean, you can contact her innumerable times and no one's going to be stopping you. You just need a phone, phone free. And grandma's anyway going to give you that. Now, how do you think people communicated with each other others, so many years back? This is what they did. Now, the same note which, which a child would write to the mommy and to, to the parents would, be, would look something like this. It's so personalized. What you see here is the child's handwriting. There's a little drawing too. What does it say? Dear mom, I hope you and papa are doing well. Nana and nani are good. We are enjoying a lot. We went to the beach and guess what I saw? I'm drawing, you guess. Nani has been teaching me how to knit a muffler and Nanaji and I got it together. We're going to the mela tomorrow. Tell me what you want in the next letter. Write fast. Mela is there only for one week. Sadly, the art of letter writing is lost. Now, writing a letter is considered an art to reflect on one's thought and emotions. You have to write everything that happened in that one, two weeks, probably you're writing a month later. You're, you're reflecting on your experiences, your emotions. It's not that instant you're sending a message. Now imagine, imagine the day without a cell phone, a laptop, social media, no other means of communication. Writing a letter was so sacred. And like we said before, the most personal aspect of someone's character comes out in these letters in the form of handwriting. Go to your mom and dad and ask them whether they have any, any of the letters stored. They would have treasured letters written in your native language or in English. Imagine finding a letter from your great great grandmother and realizing that you would probably write a certain alphabet the same way. Now, writing a letter was not just limited to writing. It was the whole experiencing, experience of visiting the post office, buying the necessary stationery, coming back home, recollecting the thoughts, writing the letter, going back to the post office and posting it. And then comes the most exciting part, waiting for the other person to respond. The whole experience is so exciting and the wait, the anticipation of whether the person has got the letter, guessing what the other person will have to say in the next letter. Probably your cousins just had her, you know, cousin had a birthday and she will write about all the fun she had and probably even send you a few pictures. Instant messaging, immediately taking your phone and messaging can never replicate letter writing. Here are two things you can do. Ask the oldest person in the family how they used to communicate. How about emergencies? A letter may take probably a week or more than a week to arrive. What was the alternative then if you wanted to instantly communicate to someone? Ask them that. And here's the second thing you can do. This does not involve posting a letter. It just involves the thrill of writing using a pen and paper. What you do first is send a WhatsApp message to your mom or dad saying how much you love them. Now, the same message, how much you love them. Write down a, using a pen, pencil, 
and a paper. You can write as much as you want. Give it to your mom and dad. Ask them which way of communicating felt special.